how have you been absolutely i'm good i have had um a quite a couple of weeks um things like i'm wanting to make content all the time and i just can't find the time to do it at the moment so that's like winding me up at the moment but um i've got loads of christmas crafts here and that's kind of getting me in the spirit i've got my jumper on today everything's freezing outside yeah <laughs> it's kind of good definitely hit the autumn winter season now which means yes of course we get to talk about christmas and all fun things um yeah so you did you want to introduce yourself first and then we'll swap <laughs> yeah absolutely so my name's abby for anyone who's come from tiktok today or is new to these lives i started make sense candles my own small business um a couple of years ago now in the first lockdown um and i started working with cozy owl shortly after that um, they often challenge me to try new products to create different things with their products so like today's live share some ideas that you guys can take away and steal and absolutely try out yourselves it's absolutely fine with me um so they challenged me to try out new products give honest reviews talk to you guys about it share my tips that kind of thing so i'm not too far ahead in the process couple of years in and um yeah that that's it really in a nutshell so that's what i do so i don't work for cozy out i'm just separate and come up with these fun ideas and have lovely chats <laughs> great to have you on board as well though because obviously you make these products sort of day in day out as well um so it's quite nice to mix and match our information together so people can ask us questions about um your business as well as well as cozy owl products so we can kind of mix and match so definitely um pop your questions in the question box below if you do have anything and um, we just had a comment here. Hello from Wax Chocolatier. Oh, hello. That's <laughs> a very cool name. I like that. That is very nice. Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Should we kick start off with, do you want to go first with something that you've, you've got there to show us? <laughs> yeah, what have I got? So I'm going to start with wax melts, go on to candles and some other little things that you can try craft wise heading into christmas i don't feel too bad mentioning it now because we were going to do this live a couple of weeks ago i we sort of paused and kind of had a rethink and then uh, so it feels better i'm not like boiling hot here doing this now so it's good um one chocolatier person kind of prompted me there so lots of your i bought over lots of examples of your molds to show because these these are quite often uh, called chocolate molds online um so because they're made of silicon and uh food safe in that respect so there are lots of um these molds that can be used for wax melts on the cozy website and there is another one like this heart one very similar with um farm animals in that you might think of using for sort of um baby showers things like that but i think this alongside maybe little christmas trees or something like that makes really cute um oh. deli pots having little teddy bears in there it looks like toys there's also another mold that i haven't tried which um is a, is a chocolate box shape it's like a christmas present style yeah. so that's my first one lovely scented deli pot and i've got some fragrances here to show as well at some point lovely um, i love it. So crazy it reminds me of like warm blankets teddies like it's, it's a really nice one especially if you don't want to go too much into christmas quite yet that's sort of like a hint towards like gifting and yes yeah. if there's anything that you can do and we've mentioned this before on our lives that is um that can work outside of those two weeks because in case you have excess stock and things like that or things don't sell as well as you want to if you can sort of reuse things um and not get to the point of remelting and having to like worry about fragrance oils evaporating then um i think that's really good um one tip i've got for wax melts because I've been doing some for autumn at the moment is when you embed them you can see here from my little oh, mistake right. we have got my lovely chip nail varnish um some dye that has leaked so if you kind of add too much dye you might have it seeping out just while they're setting so that's just my little tip there to avoid adding too much that does look quite cool though but yeah, it depends what effect you're going for but I would rather have like a clean look there with that leaves that i've got for water so that's my tip not too much dye um glitter you've got on one of those as well that you just showed yeah i've got the it's a little green one that you guys do 
Mm, yeah. I, I love your glitters because they're so bright. Um, so they really pop in wax melts compared to like other kind of glitters you can get from craft shops. Um, and I particularly like, you've got a blue, blue, golden, red one. I think it's those three colours. And there's an iridescent sort of uh, violet. Yeah, it's lovely. Colour. That's beautiful in gel wax. Yeah. Really have you got any um, wax melts to show me? I have. I've got ones that I made today, actually, that are mulled wine scented, which I so we used our mulled wine uh, fragrance oil, uh, soy luna wax. Um, and I've also done a little deli pot as well. And I've used, I don't know if you can see that glitter on there. Yeah, you can. Combine That's beautiful. Of red and um, magic violet. That's which, the one, yeah. Magic violet is very deceiving. Um, in the packet, it looks completely white. So you think, oh, I've got white glitter. I actually thought I had the white glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on and actually it makes a really nice iridescent finish. So you can't really see it without sort of the light coming in, but it's really, really nice. So I've used a combination of red dye and also the dark red dye together just to get a little bit more of a pop to the, the base of the belt. And then I've embedded um, one of our Christmas tree um, clamshells here. I've just um, sort of cracked one out. <laughs> That's not the word. <laughs> I know what you mean. You've used the clamshell as a mould. <laughs> I've I've snapped one off. That's what I meant to say. Yes. <laughs> snapped one of the um, squares off, and then I've embedded that into this lovely deli pot. Um, so it's really nice because then you get the best of both. Um, so yeah, I've used these, which are really nice as well. You can make these very muted tones, or um, a bit like this one. Sometimes I like to go a little bit of crazy glitter, but you can add a pop of colour with some sort of bright chunky glitter in there. Um, which is really nice. These moulds, like the Christmas tree moulds, are so good for Christmas because you've already got the packaging already on them. So if you are selling them or using them yourself, you can kind of um, thin them straight off as they are rather than worrying about yeah. that. Obviously, just adding on your stickers and CLP labels and everything that you need on there. Um, it's a really cost-effective way of doing things because if you think about a candle and having, obviously the wax the glass then the packaging for that to go in that's a lot of extra things and it all mounts up in terms of cost so if you can literally just pour and go and seal which helps the curing process with those wax melts i think that's a winner basically only thing with that that i learned from last year watch your pouring temperatures for those of anyone listening because you can if they're not silicon silicon you can get away with it but if they are like the plastic they sometimes shrivel up and shrink a little bit which yeah. can change your shapes you definitely can get a little bit of like it warps a little bit as well so sometimes it can change the shape but um i have tested them quite quite to the max and they they are really good so they do withstand a fair amount but yeah definitely check on your temperatures there um which is another thing throughout the whole process obviously you're checking temperatures so just at the end before you pour um check on the wax and what kind of pouring temperature is needed for that um but I have another Christmas tree one to show you quickly mm. well, using a chunky glitter. But this one's our, our three Christmas trees. That's really cute. These so are that you've kept it in them. Yeah, lovely. These are a really nice shape. Um, here's on the back as well. So you can see how smooth the soil lunar wax is. Yeah, Ooh. it's so good. If anyone missed our chat on it, it's brilliant for holding colours, looking really creamy and, and smooth. And it sets really quickly if you're short on time as well with those wax melts. It does. I, I actually was um, doing a bit of a test, like wax against wax. And um, it definitely does set a lot quicker because I before I could get round and take a photo of it, it already set. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, have a look at these moulds on our website as well. Um, you get to make three at a time and they're actually quite thick and chunky so they do last a really nice time and they do come with a lid as well and um, you can add on to pop on top there as well um, so that keeps the scent fire nice and strong when you're curing them oh they're lovely these i did these in evergreen oh nice okay <laughs> something a bit different actually yeah I've yeah done, used quite a few different scents here for um let's talk about fragrances while you're on that one then yeah. i 
I've got the biggest bottle in the world. It's not even going to fit on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Christmas Spice and it is my, well, you can see customer favourite because it's so, such a massive bottle. Um, as we've mentioned before with Cozy Owl, they're changing or have been changing to glass bottles. I just have still got some that I've ever ordered from before in this plastic. Um, eucalyptus essential oil, I would say is quite similar to sort of evergreen winter pine scents. Mm. Um, so if you're an essential oil fan, this is still quite a Christmassy scent, I would say, because we've I've used this in like um, foliage and reefs and things like that. So I I recommend that basically. And yeah, really nice. That's another thing about um, essential oils is you can obviously make um, soaps, candles, or all sorts with them. Um, and they really do have a lovely sort of calming, relaxing feel to them. Each essential oil has slightly different properties. So you can actually have got a few things coming up on that as well um, on our Instagram. So make sure you're watching out for that. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of properties in them that really do help with relaxation or anxiety. Um, so yeah, definitely read up on those and have a look at that. But we do have quite a lot of wintry kind of scents like cedarwood and frankincense and myrrh. So they've yeah. got that here. <laughs> ah, it's, um, For anyone who hasn't tried it and is wondering what it smells like, because it's so Christmassy that even the name alone could you know, is does your marketing for you if you're a small business. Um, but it actually smells kind of like, to me, um, aftershave. It's yeah. quite a perfume kind of scent. Um, so popular with men, but I think it's a very strong scent. So I think you could actually um, put in about five, six percent or something in that, especially in, in things like soy luna wax, because it seems to hold it. So does the eco soy advance that... Um, I use yeah so you don't want to overdo it with that one but really good scent long lasting yeah I know exactly what you mean it's got that slightly sort of masculine kind of touch to it but quite fresh as well I can imagine that like a nice bathroom like in the bathroom or something sort of candle um yeah definitely all of these different products that we've got all cool kind of suit different rooms in the house over winter um which is really nice um but yeah, as I said, with fragrance wise, my favourite is still mulled wine. I absolutely love mulled wine. Um, it's very fruity and fresh. Um, I made these wax melts that I just showed earlier, if you, if you missed them, um, today. And our office area um, smells amazing. Um, and another uh, colleague that I work with called Abby, <laughs> she also walked in the room, she said, wow what have you sprayed? I said, I haven't sprayed anything. That is literally just my wax melts that I've made. Um, it is a lovely, lovely smell. Um, and it's actually one of the fragrance oils also in our candle making kits as well, which is another nice one to try out. So if you are looking at making candles for the first time, then that is a great place to start. And there's quite a few Christmassy scents and a couple of new ones coming soon uh, in our kits. So... You'll There's get... so many teasers in this live. That's why I like chatting to you guys because I get all the secrets. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think you've got, um, oh, also peppermint or anything like that. It's obviously like candy canes. So mm. any kind of essential oils like that. Because uh, I was just thinking about your fragrance oils in your kits and I think candy canes are one of those. They are brilliant gifts. Um, so I I started candle making with one of these kits. I've mentioned this before on um, lives. But even for someone who's not looking to do that, just as something to break up the Christmas holidays, the kits are so easy to follow. Um, the I would say easily like age twelve, like they'd be quite happy making them, you know, because the wax isn't splattering anywhere. You're you've got an adult helping you. It, it's really it's a really nice activity, and obviously your house smells amazing afterwards. So not too much mess, and it smells great. So win win <laughs> that one. Nice, and you get to make five all in one go as well. So, you know, you can keep two for yourself, or <laughs> um, give a, give another one as a gift, um, or keep all five of them. It's it's quite a nice little way of learning from the beginning of how to make a candle with instructions inside as well. So you don't have to worry about getting ed extra ingredients. Um, it's all in one box, and we've got quite a lot of videos on our youtube and on our instagram page as well for 
guides on how to use it and any extra tips and tricks as well so yeah they're really nice we we have quite a few um across the board in our kits we've got quite a few nice um wintery christmas scents um including our wax melt making kit we, we've got candy cane on that as well i think um and we've got soap making kits as well which have got some really nice sort of subtle hints of um winter winter scents as well um and then of course our diffuser kits too so across the board there's a lot of kits to go on um which is another great idea for Christmas. Even if you aren't interested in necessarily making, you might know someone who loves a craft and that is a really nice gift, whether it's a stocking filler gift or um, a Christmas tree present gift. I don't know if you've ever heard of that with a, where a Christmas tree gives you a gift. <laughs> My family used to do it like years ago and they used to do a gift from the tree. So that's like another nice... Oh, gift. that's lovely. My yeah. friend does... Um, talking of tradition she does she celebrates christmas on christmas eve so they do all their presents then at the table and things like that so i think that's cool if anyone has made any of these kits or has got any like fun traditions it'd be quite cool to pop them in the comments um because we just love reading them anyway and yeah. hearing from you guys and don't forget you guys can watch all of this back um when we post it live in about half an hour or so or actually the time's gone so quickly it always goes so quick on our lives so you can watch it back our previous lives as well so don't worry if you miss anything <laughs> i'm gonna whiz through a few more craft ideas to talk about so i'm kind of doing gonna do two in one cotton wick versus wooden wick and this will like split people i think who are makers um if you haven't tried a wooden wick before these are great for this time of year because they add a crackle noise so it's a bit like the sound of an open fire it's not aggressive or anything like that it's just like a nice sort of ambiance um, you could use any of the scents with that. I've just gone for it in this um, metal container because these are pretty robust. Um, if you're going to be posting things for Christmas um, and delivery drivers, you know, have a lot of work to do and things like that, they might be throwing your parcels around. So you might not want to go for glass. So these are pretty robust. They come with a lid. I just don't have the other hand to pick that up at the moment. Um, <laughs> so that's your curing done for you. So you can just leave the lid on it and make sure the candle sets for a couple of weeks to let the wax and the fragrance um, particles mix together and th then you have a beautifully scented candle. So that's really lovely. I like that one. I, oh, the light's gonna affect me here. This says Merry Christmas <laughs> with Ooh. a vinyl sticker on it. So I've just taken the idea of a bauble here. Um, you could also um, use one of the um, other kinds of jars on the Cozy Our website that i don't even know what they're called they have like a bit of a neck and they're oh. like a famous high street brand but i put a scarf on that last year and some buttons going down that one that's it to mm -hmm. make a snowman but you could pop like a you could do a red candle with a belt round as a vinyl or label or something and make it look like santa anything like that so my lights are running this but they there you yeah. go it's basically to look like a bauble with some decoration that's gold and glittery there wow so if you just more um self-adhesive vinyl for that yeah i've got a machine that cuts it out now which i love but you could anyone could get um stickers from other makers like small businesses or try out different labels you could also use um like posca i think they're called posca those paint pens yeah I love those. <laughs> i've got a drawer full of those <laughs> yeah go straight on the glass they're really nice so i'm thinking sort of scented uh, corners of the room or centerpieces here um, and going from there yeah. what else have you got on your side to show well, as we were mentioning um, this jar here I thought I'd just mention that as well so this is actually our classic jar with a lid and we do this in three different sizes so we've only currently we've got the smaller size out of stock so hopefully we'll get that eventually soon but we do have this size and our larger size as well so it's very high street kind of looking brands of candles <laughs> um, but what's really nice is it has a really nice tight lid on this and um, it's really nice just to add in a nice sort of subtle hint whether it's sort of christmas tree color and um, i've gone for this nice light pastel green and um, you could choose like a really nice um color selection um, but what is really nice is this tight lid on top really keeps your candle nice and smelling so nice and sweet um 
well this one anyway does smell sweet and <laughs> um, uh, yeah so I, basically these types of candles are perfect for storing and then once you finish with them as well you can then put some boiling hot water in take your wax out and reuse the jar afterwards which is really nice I wouldn't recommend using it for food afterwards because obviously you've got that nice smell inside, but um, for holding stationery or hairbands, accessories and stuff like that. Another nice reusable one. Um, but I have got a little mini collection of candles to show you here. Oh, um, okay. Different containers. Um, and they're all embedded with something. So I'll show you this one first. So this is our nice little white... Um, shiny container this is all made of glass and i've added on one of our wooden lids here as well which i think is a nice little combination especially for winter and i've embedded this one with some lovely little stars oh that's gorgeous i love embedded candles i have a couple of star ones for christmas and they're yeah they're so popular when people see them on markets and stuff mm, and it oh it smells amazing um yeah we've got embedded stars there for um for my wax melt mold um, and then I've just added a nice little light blue colour underneath there. Um, oh, it's a nice snowflake smell I went with this one. because Oh, it that's quite minty, isn't it? Matched quite well. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely smell. Really, really nice there. Um, and then to go with that, I then got a cranberry wreath scented candle <laughs> with some little um, presents from our present mould that you mentioned earlier yeah they're really sweet that's really cute really cute and i've noticed a lot there's a lot of um muted colors going out this year which is quite on trend so it's quite nice to add like a little um either a pastel tone to embed with or just like a nice little color as a little nod to the festivities sort of thing so mm -hmm. um, yeah if your go to say on your profile or wherever you sell your candles or wax melts or any kind of thing um isn't that kind of red green traditional aesthetic or gold or anything like that keep it with what you do already because your customers already like it maybe add some glitter and things like that or dial up the label but keep it as you would and just keep to your brand because i think even though we try different things and like different crafts you might want to try these crafts out and just film them and share something different on as your content on your channel um but kind of if it doesn't feel quite right for your brand like just stick to your colors um, those wax melts when when they're embedded on top and they melt they look really fun for um, Halloween as well because especially if they're another color like coming seeping through um, mm. they're really cool so if you're still sort of not thinking as far ahead that's a good one to try definitely definitely and I've got one more to try uh, to show you here as well this is one of our tins so that one was just the normal tin here with the lid on and um, this one is the tin lid with the window lid on top um so that one's actually a really nice one if you do have a design already on it and you want to put a lid on it but still see it um so i've used the christmas tree mold which i mentioned earlier which is this one here how um, have you created that christmas tree color this one is actually with our olive um dye oh is it really nice yeah so really like small amounts um i've used here so a, a little piece of dye goes a long way and our dye are in is all in chips so you can just add a small amount of chips so you don't have to a little bag there. they've all gone in oh brilliant yeah they <laughs> um so yeah i've just used our olive dye which is a really nice muted tone as well um i really like this candle <laughs> it's very like it's pleasing isn't it on the eye like the symmetry is so nice i yeah. can see that in uh lined up with rows and rows of them all looking the same you know yeah. that's not how you see it <laughs> i've got one two more th one thing to very quickly mention but one quick make so i've got like an old vase here an old candle jar so i've just suggested people try this at home for a centerpiece or craft you could pop in a 20 cl depending on what size is or a 10 cl candle in the middle and then use dried fruit um now anyone who knows high street brands might be able to think of what this is a bit of a nod to but <laughs> <laughs> but this is a safe version that doesn't have uh things that are flammable that are close to the wick basically because we're divided by two glasses here um, but you might have 
um, berries or foliage from the garden that you might want to put around. You could also do this with gel wax in between, but this is just a quick version without having to involve wax. So I've got tiny pine cones, um, fruit, you could have oranges that you bake in the oven, and then you just fill that all up and then you'd make a really cool centerpiece. That is really that. and yeah as you say it's nice and safe and um, you don't want to be embedding anything that's flammable into your candles so as long as it's on the outside it's absolutely fine yeah and that's where the wax melts are really good for that because as long as they're the same fragrance as uh what's in the candle as well you can go nuts with the embedding there it's absolutely fine i was just going to finish up my side talking about um soap now i'm i'm a crafter rather than and make candles and wax melts and diffusers rather than sort of a cosmetic maker by trade. Um, but I've used the Kozial, um B mold because I just wanted to, sh to show this because when we're talking about Christmas, we, we sometimes forget with these crafts that we're talking about gifts as well. So these actually make lovely gifts for people that love bar of soap. So I just wanted to give those a bit of a shout out as well. They're gorgeous because um, if you don't want to go in with all the decorative kind of stuff, that mould speaks for itself. You, it it carves your design out beautifully. Um, yeah, it's such a lovely mould. It's one of my favourites, actually. Yeah, for soap, for soap making, it's really easy as well, especially with our melt and pour soap bases. So, yeah, per perfect idea. I've, I've actually also got a, sh a soap to show you while you're on the soap thing, <laughs> soap theme just quickly as well before we go mm -hmm. um these ones are candy inspired <laughs> oh they look so good um, really good yeah so basically i just made two lots of um using our circle mold in our soap mold section and um, that's actually another thing to mention when i'm on the molds um is that a lot of our molds can cross over to a variety of different crafts so if you want to make a giant wax melt you can make and use our soap molds as well so this one could even be made into a wax melt and then you can do you can sort of cut it up to how you want to use it and um, but here anyway we've got the soap and um, so I've made one in white and then one in red using red mica powder and then simply cut it up into lots of triangles <laughs> and then swap them over and embedded them together basically um, it works really nice sort of for the candy cane kind of look um, and you can obviously add your own scent to those as well. Um, just one thing to bear in mind for soap, um, it's always best to check the IFRA document for the fragrance oil or essential oil that you're using, just because this will tell you exactly how much you're able to use in soap, um, and if you can as well, and any health and safety requirements. Um, but as I said before, we do have soap making kits as well, so if you do want to learn sort of beforehand, that's quite a nice way to start. Um, but yeah, these these are a really cool idea. I saw loads of different ideas on Pinterest similar to this, so I was like, oh, I've got to try that out. Um, so that's another really good place for inspiration as well if you are looking um, for new ideas or just something new to try out, um, even if you are a small business and you're just wanting to have a craft day yourself. Um, it's quite nice to get some new inspiration on there as well. But yeah, my whole area here is just covered in creations now. <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm like it here as well in my kitchen um no it's brilliant and i can and smell some of the fragrances that i've opened before um yeah you've got me all in the festive spirit now it's brilliant oh and i yeah i'm really glad that everyone's been able to join and uh listen along and maybe you can watch this back as well but i thought maybe we should end on our favorite festive winter scent maybe <laughs> for fragrance oil mm, yeah i can do that <laughs> okay. i can tell you mine first if you like <laughs> i know yeah. maybe, and if we're looking at something a bit more alternative and different mm -hmm. one of my favorites for autumn transitioning into festive times and um, it's very different. It's actually plum and mulberry. I know we've mentioned this a few times in our lives. Is it different to you guys? Because it's your go, <laughs> your go to. It is very good. <laughs> it, it, um, yeah, it seems to always creep up on our lives. Plum and mulberry is the one. Yeah. Definitely, a fruity. It reminds me of fruit plum pies for some reason. 
all warm and cozy um, but it's different to the normal christmas scents mm. it's not as sweet is it it's a bit more peppery and it, mm. it's got a bit of depth to it it's 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 a really good scent <laughs> it is a, it is definitely a what a big uh vote <laughs> from our cozy owl team <laughs> yeah absolutely the um I'm, I'm glad I was going second because I was thinking, hmm, this is going to be hard. Winter pine is my favourite because I love a, a real Christmas tree at Christmas. So this for me is Christmas in a bottle. It, I think, is up there with one of the strongest smelling scents that you guys do in terms of like cold throw, heat throw. I've got candles that I've made last Christmas, Christmas before, that I've gifted my family and my mum won't burn because they're too pretty to burn <laughs> and um they they still smell really lovely um so this is like slightly citrusy um but with that pine woodland smell as well but super strong great cold and heat throw so that it gets my vote like winter walks when you go in the woods and it does yeah greens pine trees as you go along it's lovely oh well thank you so much for joining us tonight it's been really great even though we weren't able to go on to tiktok hopefully we'll do that in the future um but yeah thank you everyone for joining us and we'll be going live in the next couple of weeks as well with our next topic <laughs> so yeah hopefully see you all then and thank you very much abby for joining us tonight thank you so much for having me <laughs> thank you guys uh, bye everyone bye